we're back with something a little bit different today. So I just helped Spaz do bushings and bearings all around on the 850 XP and uh, it was a real treat. During the process I realized he had uh, two very worn U-joints on the front prop shaft so we got two new ones ordered up through Dirty Life and custom motor quad pinion plate up there is on the way. I should tighten things up a bit and uh, my sister-in-law Jessica has a decal machine and some colored vinyls so she says she's got a pretty good match of yellow for the new 21 and I've had some ideas float around as to what we could do to maybe customize and add on a few touches actually I've, I've kind of went ahead and already done a few but I haven't finished up and she's got some of the finishing uh, decals there um, or is going to have them there this afternoon so I figured two birds one stone I think Spaz is dressing this up a touch as well hey got ahead of me here with the decals boys oh yeah first warrior here knock out look what we got from slobby knocks you oh, boys man. gave us a custom i got one for you one for me you? hey why wouldn't we right we got some tail lights for the 18 from them real thin ones right so, no, Jake's so the tires won't clean them off i got extra decals too some for the old beer fridge over there boys we've been adding them if we had to put the last post up do you know how many guys offered that part for free? Within minutes, we're like, do you need one of them hubs? We got it, I got it, I got a spare. Yeah. So then turns out I learned from them. Uh, the boys, it's wonderful about Facebook sometimes. Not a lot is wonderful I about read, Facebooks, yeah. but the rear are steel, the front are aluminum. Guys order up the steel ones, replace the front aluminum ones when they break with that. the steel ones. So what a super idea. You know, learn something new every day. You know, Popo guys, they've got their fixes too, right? So I think uh, we didn't we didn't end up filming the the bushings and the bearings, and because I'll be honest with you guys, there's a lot of work there, and the sooner we jumped into it, and the less camera work it was, the easier it was for me to just get in there and get it done. I've actually been surprised with some of the Polaris research I've done on YouTube. There aren't as many repair videos. Uh, I don't even, should I say this publicly? <laughs> there are can and repair videos on online. I don't know if the Polaris guys are just, you know, not sharing. <laughs> you know, that's our can and riders. We like share, right? We share the adventure. No, Joe, but sit share the breakdown. Uh, snow, snow, I heard we're going to get whacked with snow. I'm hoping to get whacked with snow. We can get out for a decent ride. I'd rather not play this part. What do you mean? I got to follow fucking yards, bud. Oh, you heard with this? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't. You'd be in four-wheel drive. You'd be using all that slop up front. Well, That's a good way to take her out early. Well, I'll have to. There's a lot of fine detail to do with this. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that looks better than the white. That looks sure. very nice. Nice job, yes, buddy. Super hard to lay down, Jess. I didn't mess you up because as soon as one touches and there it comes off. Spaz's bike. We've been fixing her up a bit. Um, she went over there the other night to start it, but uh, as soon as I got there, uh, it started to snow, and then he got all worried. He wanted to plow the driveway, so I'm like, yeah, you probably shouldn't even be using your bike, but go ahead, plow the driveway. So we just spent the time decaling the bike. So yeah, anyways, um, we got uh, some exciting news here, boys. We got a we got our award from YouTube. We're going to show you in a bit here. Um, I figured uh, we'd unveil that at the same time as 
folks are asking already what we've got done to the Renegade and it is pretty much the new Renegade, the 21. Um, it's pretty much finito, complete. Uh, we're just missing, uh, well, I'm going up to visit Roger at New New Tires here in about a week. And uh, for the weekend, we're gonna go for a little rip. So we'll grab some tires while we're up there. And uh, I got a shifter that's in the mail from Slobby Knobs, the boys. Uh, we actually got a set of tail lights for the 18, which are looking pretty sick. It'll be nice to get some brake lights back on that machine. Um, however, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I was half tempted to slap them in the 21 and then just maybe order up another set because they do look pretty darn killer. Um, XM Army just added a set to his build as well, and I gotta say, man, they turned out real nice, looks real good. So, anyways, yeah, I said, uh, you mind if I come down and use your parking lot to the boys at Thompson's because they got a nice little spot there. It's a gorgeous sunny day, and I figured I'd do a full walk around of the 21 Renegade, cover all the parts that are on it and uh, we'll get that out of the way and then we'll hit the trail with it. Uh, she's all decaled up too, boys, so she's looking pretty killer. And then we're gonna swing over to Spaz's and we're gonna drop off this um, and probably get to work on the Polaris. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, boys. She's a busy afternoon. All right, cheers, we'll be right back. John showing off this brand new 21 demo, eh? It's uh, the Eco Diesel, this one. And uh, it's got the new tailgate functions, which are pretty killer, man. Very awesome. Got the full panoramic roof, got the Ram box, got everything my truck has and more. So uh, he just offered me a little test drive in it, so I think we're gonna take him up on it. I gotta run out to Spaz's and drop off this pinion plate mod anyways. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this. All right, man. We'll get Sean to give us a little going over, tell us a little bit more about it. But the Equal Diesel uh, particular, I don't know much about that, but uh, yeah, it's pretty killer, man. Server looks sharp. Black Beauty, right on, boys. We're gonna unload that, and we're gonna do a walk around. So stay tuned here, boys, and we'll let you know everything I've done to the new 21. All right, good. I like the black dude seats. I like the black dude interior, very nice. You got a little splash of red in here. Yeah, we've gotten okay. used to it, and uh, the wife says she's really gonna miss it. Uh, so, yeah. Well, when you take this for a drive and you set up the cameras, you'll be able to see those uh, features that I was mentioning. Yeah, well, I think that's going to be really cool. You can keep a keep a tail on the uh, on the trailer too when you're that's back right. there with that camera. So that's kind of a neat feature. Really cool. Right on. We get to go for a test drive. Okay, man. Much enjoy, appreciated, brother. Enjoy your drive. One of those. Take care. Cheers. Hey, you should check this out before. I know you're busy and you got to run off, but I'd love to show you the new thing. I think they like it. I think the boys approve, man. That's wicked. What do you think, Robbie, eh? Gnarly, eh? This is that gnarly? There it is, boys. So we'll do a full-on walk around of that. Check out the halos. Look, and crispy. Sun's out. Park a lot. Yeah, 
Oh, there it is. She's looking good. Yeah, so a quick little walk around over everything we've done to her for you guys. And, uh, you know, you don't have to do all these upgrades, but they'll help you, uh, well, they'll increase the odds of uh, your unit surviving a, uh, a bad situation or two, if you know what I'm saying, right? So, just a quick little dry off there. That'll do, eh? That'll do? All right, where to start? I guess we'll start with the first thing that was uh, precautionary that needed to be done, and that I can't show you right now because she's a bit cold, but we got the custom moto quad. Where's the boy's logo here, right here? Right on. Custom moto quad uh, billet with OEM style gasket airbox lid. And obviously you guys realize why I've done that, just to ensure a better seal first and foremost. And I think that was worth about 170 bucks and he's got it inscribed for us and uh, powder coated black. Looks really killer, really killer. Um, after that, a performance pipe. And we went with a uh, SLG welding. The boys are from out in Alberta there. And uh, it is super, super loud super noisy in a good way boys but i really like it and it turned out really nice the fit and finish on it is killer and obviously to go with that we had to get a tune on it so for the tune it's a monster fuel injection a uh, buddy of mine quite local actually uh at crazy browner tuned he hooked us up with the monster fuel injection so if you're looking for a tune at crazy browner on instagram or Andy Brown on Facebook. Shoot him a private message, get yourself hooked up with the, either an Evo tune or Monster Injectors. I think it's what he's got for uh, the Can-Am units that you uh, you have to choose from. So she's tuned up, she's exhausted up. We've got the air box sealed up real good. Uh, next, we wanted to go for comfort and get the thing feeling solid. And I like to yank on these in a bad situation and I push pretty hard on the old uh, bars when we're stuck. So the Seco Racing Stem was next to uh, stiffen her up along with uh, this time we didn't go with rocks risers we went with OMD original mods design two inch riser and I'm glad we did too um, we've given away some of Sean's products before in the past done giveaways with them uh, they sponsored us some products that way and uh, this time we figured we'd give his uh, risers a shot I'm glad we did it's really clean really uh, uh, it's got a better clamp on it too and it's cleaner because you're going straight up in with four nuts through the post and in here with the uh, rocks risers you've got little uh, spacers and stuff you got some grinding to do you're reversing a couple things but uh so that's why we went with the omd and i'm really happy that we did man it's looking really good then we had some brp add-ons to go along with it we got the rear skid plate we got the rear hitch plate and we got some uh they call them diff protectors i call them axle deflectors whatever you want to call them but uh I didn't like the silver, so we did wrap them up with the yellow, and then we got some uh, killer decals on there. So back with the original mods, boys. We got the gas cap as well with a good seal on her, and uh, OMD seal on her, I should say. And then we went with the fair lead. We also got rid of the uh, the cable because I'm not liking cutting my hands on it when you're yanking it out. We also got the warrant. Um, we might have to get ourselves a hold of some uh, some product from Tony and tied up paracord. Then we went fire mudding and he's hooked us up huge. Fred, big shout out to the boys over there. Doing a killer job with the multicolored halos along with the rock lights and then into the back rack. And Fred has just developed again another design for these back racks. So stay tuned boys. Uh, I think something even a little slender and slim in design for uh, the Renegades purposely. But uh, it's going to look killer. So there's the rack. There we got the OMD products. The clutching is huge to get all. Oh yes, right. Don't short Fred. We also went and did the footwells, and he's customized those. Got ATV cut into them there, and uh, far mudding into the back. So we got clearance for days. And uh, to get all the power down to the ground, the clutching. We've got ourselves a QSC RevX, and then we've got ourselves a Dalton Black violet spring on the secondary and basically boys that is all you're going to need to get the power down trust me um shout out to gator waiters always keeping us hooked up we do have a shifter on the way from slobby knobs that's why you see the boys in here um but it's been stuck at the border for a bit but we do expect it'll be through soon the xm310s um good tire but we're changing that up we're going to go visit new new tires here right shortly and we'll get her equipped with something a little more uh i don't know appropriate for the extreme right 
other than that spaz and uh jessica shout out for huge huge help doing all the decals switching some of them from uh white to, to yellow just really bringing it all together right so yeah i think that covers just about everything we've done to this but i think it's about five grand right now so not too bad not too bad decent it, it is a really nice bike joel but it is it is missing something That's it boys, 2021 20, Can-Am Renegade XMR 1000R. She's a killer unit, we're very happy, very stoked. Let's get some pictures with that nice truck over there. Then. Yeah buddy. Oh, check this out, I almost forgot. How could you forget? It was one of the main reasons for coming down. And we almost forgot. Look what we got in the mail. Huge thanks to all you guys, to all the sponsors. Thompson's here, Bay Marine, all the guys who have helped contribute to the bike and the parts um, over the years, um, prior sponsors and uh, and current sponsors, man. It means a lot to us. It's been phenomenal. Pretty excited, 100,000 subs, and uh, hoping we can nail another 100,000 to come. But uh, yeah, man, it's pretty kick-ass. Presented the ATV for 100,000 for achieving. Killer, man. Huge thanks, guys. So, uh, we got a part in here. We should probably carry on with what we got going on today because uh, we should walk around and then we were going to head on down and see Spass because Custom Moto Quad Pinion Plate Upgrade is here. So, we're going to drop this off at Spass's, but now I'm actually going to take Sean's demo unit out for a rip and uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go drop this off in his truck. Why not, right? So. I'll get that thing parked back up in the trailer. BRP add-on that I did forget to mention. Another one is the pre-screen. So from, uh, from Bay Marine, we ordered up the pre-screen, the rear skid plate, the rear hitch plate, and uh, they accidentally sent the deflectors, but we decided to go with it when we received them. So it was like, right on, we just take a skid plate too, right on. As I was about to put the camera in the dash, as I always do, uh, a little void up there, which must mean that Sean's got the on-screen display, which is kind of a cool feature. So, generally I set you guys up here. Oh, you're still gonna work like that too. And you guys are rocking and rolling just like that. So, got a booster seat in here, do you, Sean? Oh yeah, this is your personal demo, right? This isn't just, uh, just a car off the lot. So, hey, cheers, appreciate it. We'll take good care of it, as we always do. I think uh, I think your legs are really long, man, because I'm still, well, yeah, that's feeling pretty good. I won't mess with your driving position too much. I just slid her forward, Sean. That's it. That's all I did. Although I think, uh, yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The diesel is uh, very quiet. That's something I noticed right away. Whoa, what happened here? Is there something going on here? Let's see what's up. Right. Check this out. Yeah, that's pretty wild. So... You flip it down and kind of turn it off. Fine and dandy, flip it up. Look at that. And there's your, well, that's pretty killer, eh? That is killer, man. Okay, she's locked. All right, off we go. We are off to the races, folks. Sneak up the back way because she's not quite as congested. Yeah, the diesel's so quiet, so quiet. That's so quiet. That's so wild, man, having that chip out. What the hell 
are you driving now? Get to try out all these new vehicles. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see that, eh? Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Check it out, brother. Isn't it? They had the boys wash her up inside. It really is a nice truck. This is the Eco Diesel Spice. A rear view here. But yeah, this has got the straight down. Okay, I see if I can remember how to do this now. I don't pay much attention. Oh yeah, okay. That one down and then open there. And, uh, and then open here. And you can get right on up. Can you imagine how easy it is to get all the beer out of the back now? Yeah. And ATV parts, see? Speaking of which, look what we got, bud. Look what we got. This thing came like super fast. Let's not scratch up his keys. Yes, custom motor quad. Pinion yeah. plate upgrade. Check that out. You can put the little scrap into that. I didn't know they did that. That's kind of neat. Yeah, come check this out, Jake. Isn't that neat? Yeah, so you just slap her on in this side, this side, and a proper tailgate just like so. Wow. Yeah, that's a really neat little feature actually pretty cool. yeah pretty cool man i gave you a part and you said you got some parts to show me oh, what did you do with that part? what'd you do oh boys you joints have arrived right on man that's great so with this and this we're gonna be laughing here boys Boys, to yank off this uh, this foot fender here while I'm gone, and this tire, and we'll be ready to get right at her. She's just four screws at the front of the pinion plate, a couple drift uh, drift pins that are in there, and uh, we should be able to slide the shaft out. We'll get her on the bench, and we'll get those two joints in her, buddy, just like that. So I'm going to take Sean's truck back, because uh, it was kind of an unscheduled little drive, but uh, I know he's got to leave here soon, so. And I'll be back, bud, and we'll get this thing fixed up. Right. Run mint. She's the diesel, so we left her running, boys. <sighs> Figure we best get used to it, cause uh, Lord knows what's coming. It is wind up. And then release a little too. And the boys got her shined up, looking so nice. Wish we could talk to me, maybe wash and wine while it's gone. Truck and trailer, pull her right in, boys. Just give her a little detail, would you? <laughs> yeah, our truck's gonna be up for sale here, boys. So if anybody's looking for a beautiful Ram Rebel, she's gonna be available, man. Be really sad to see her go. Just like so, rock and roll. Put the old e-brake on for you, bud. Very nice, very nice, Sean. Very much appreciated too, bud. Love the new features. That's pretty kick-ass, that's pretty kick-ass, and that's pretty kick-ass too. Right on, man. Let's uh, continue on and uh, get home get some supper into us and we'll get over there and we'll help spaz get fixed up because that's what friends do so let's go give sean back his keys kick ass got a little bit of supper and we're on our way back over spaz's to uh get her fixed up so off we go back in my ramp now oh. jesus that's tight but your rears are fine Thank God. You still freshened up and good battery bar. Well, that's good. Let's see if put a nice huge head on the, uh, on this. I'll tell you, that's nice there. Oh God. That don't look good at all. It's bad as garbage. And there ain't much in it either. Some serious water penetration. This bad boy. It's not a proper, uh, but she worked. She's the exact size, and uh, if you pretty much don't have the right size for this, you're in trouble. I think you're good. Right there. And each one of them actually cracked over very nicely. Over the hill. So, oh, she comes on out just yeah. like that. Wait, in the reason. Do you see that? Do you see that, Spaz? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, so now you see why we're replacing? Because yeah. that there is goodbye diff. I don't know how we're going to get these. Okay, that's one gone. Okay, that's that step. Just 
tight. Oh, she's beautiful. Yep. And we got new joints exploding caps already. Good. That's all right. Check on our pins. They're all staying there very nicely. I think we're laughing. We just got our clips back on. And we have ourselves a nice and tight drive shaft, boys. Okay. We're getting down to the wire, we are. One. I'm getting better at this. Fully serviced. Drive shaft A. Same play there, bud? None. No, but grease them first. Now, while they're open. Easy. Right. A little something like this. Cooking with grease, we are. Look at that, like butter. We'll have to line these splines up for the drift plate, or the drift. Okay. Sweet! You got a butter, boys? Feeling pretty good. Sweet. Yeah, bud. She's fixed. She's fixed! Rock and roll. The popo lives to see another day, boys. She's all buttoned up. The last thing to drop onto her is the seat. And she's all tightened up, too, man. She's got fresh bearings, fresh garage product bushings all the way around. And now she's got uh, fresh U joints on that front drive shaft. Got her? I think so. That's it. That's it. One rock and roll and po po, man. So now we can ride again. <laughs> oh, you did do that. Right on. You did the star. That looks great. Yeah. That looks really good, man. Yes. Well, that's nice. Let me guess. Has it got a pile of pins to go in it? Oh, well, why then do that for the rest of the damn bike? Yeah, boy.